Hi, this is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today we're in Hanover County. More specifically, we are off the Pole Green Road corridor, and today we're going to take a look at a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home. Uh, this home is located here at the end of a cul-de-sac, and as you can see, we have other very good-looking homes. Uh, there won't be a whole lot of traffic coming through this area as a result of it being on the cul-de-sac. Uh, we do have a two-car garage, and this home is in relatively good shape, uh, comparatively speaking, uh, when you compare it to most government and bank-owned homes. Uh, up towards the top there, we are missing a little bit of trim, uh, both on both of those uh, highest points of the home. It's not a big deal. A siding company can come in and replace those and get this low-maintenance exterior looking good as new. Okay, this home was built in 2004. And let's go on in and take a look. Okay, when we come in, we are greeted by a nice wood floor here in the foyer. Uh, to the right, we have an office. Uh, straight back, we have, of course, our stairs, our dining area, family room, and kitchen. And here to the left, we have our two-car garage. Let me pop in here real quick. Uh, we do have a pedestrian door and an opener. This home is heated with natural gas, of course, central air, and gas, hot water, radiator. One of the best things about doing real estate videos is I have the ability to chat with a lot of people. It's not unusual for the videos to get about 1,500 or more views each, and I've got viewers all over the world. Uh, a lot of times when individuals call, they will have very common questions or things that they want to chat about. Uh, occasionally, uh, I'll get something a little bit different. Um, just a few days ago, I had a nice gentleman call and he said one of his and his wife's favorite pastimes at night is to pull the tablet out and watch uh, five or six videos uh, before they go to bed. And they typically do that together. He said recently though, the wife has not been feeling really well and she'll go to bed early and a lot of times she will watch the videos alone before dozing off. And he said, um, he said, Max, uh, you know, it's kind of strange. It almost feels like she's cheating on me. And at that point, I said, oh, interesting. And I learned a few months ago, interesting is a great response if you don't know quite what to say because it's non-judgmental and it gives you time to think about what you are going to say. Uh, fortunately, my professional filter kicked in and I immediately was able to change the subject to the real estate tax rate in Henrico County. Um, I, I hope that he and his wife can, can work through uh, the real estate infidelity issues that they have um, and ultimately buy a really nice home using me as their buyer's agent. But um, most of the questions I get are a little bit more traditional. Uh, one of the common questions is, well, Max, I'm interested in buying a home. What are the first steps? And that's a great, great question. The first thing you want to do, after calling me, of course, is you want to talk to a lender. And that's, there's a number of reasons for that. No matter if you're eight weeks away or eight months away from buying a home, you want to always see exactly where you stand from the financial side of the transaction. If you're paying cash, then you can disregard that. Just as long as your bank account says that you're good to go, then you're good to go. Uh, if you need financing, then, of course, we want to make sure that everything that needs to be in place to do so is in place. The last thing you want to do is to fall in love with the house and then realize that the money is not available for you. So the lender is going to look at your income, credit, and debt and then issue what we call a pre-qualification letter. In order for them to do that, there's a little bit of information they need to, to obtain from you if they're going to do it properly. And that information is simply going to be uh, your last, typically last two years tax returns, your last 30 days pay stubs if you are a W-2 employee, 
and the last three months bank statements. So your bank statements, two years tax return, the 30 days pay stubs. If you have a fixed income, if you're retired, if you receive child support or any other type of fixed income, rent, if you have rental income, uh, anything else, just provide the documentation for that. They can then analyze your situation and hopefully issue a pre-qualification letter. If you're not qualified, what they will do is they will share with you what you need to do in order to get there. And even if someone has really, really, really bad credit, then that's not a big deal because we can usually still give you good advice on what to do to get where you're mortgage ready as soon as possible. But the key is to start early, okay? You always, always, always wanna start early. There is no cost or obligation to do that. Also, my lenders, if you are a first time buyer, there are a bunch, a bunch of first time buyer programs out there. It is unusual for me to not be able to get my first time buyers into a home for less than what it would cost for first month rent and security deposit. In many cases, they're moving in with just a few hundred dollars out of pocket. Lenders specialize just like doctors specialize. Some lenders, they don't really do a lot of first time business and they don't know those programs as well as they probably should. Others do them all the time and that's who you wanna work with, somebody that's a subject matter expert in the type of loan product that you're trying to obtain. Also, the grant process is not something that loan officers are obligated to do. However, the ones I work with, they routinely take care of that paperwork on the behalf of buyers. I have had buyers in the past that have used other loan officers. They end up having to run around town, do their own paperwork, figure it out, try to learn the terminology, and ultimately it saves a lot of time, energy, and effort if you just simply can have somebody do that for you. So those are very important tips if you are thinking about buying. Well, some other things to think about is if you are renting and you have a lease that is going to or not going to expire around the time that you want to buy, just let me know. We can usually work with the landlord. Uh, oftentimes we can get the seller to pay any penalties that they may be for you breaking a lease early. The bottom line for a landlord is they just don't want to lose money as a result of a tenant leaving early. So if we can make them whole, then that just frees up everything else as far as your transition process. So leave that up to me to help figure that piece out uh, if it seems like that's something that you want to do. Uh, once we get that pre-qualification letter, then it's time for us to go shopping. I'm a full-time agent, and in today's market, I know if a house hits today and it's a great deal, then there's a good chance it'll be gone tomorrow. As a full-time agent, that's my first priority, is getting into homes that my buyers like and want to see and are qualified for. So we drop everything, pretty much. I don't have any children. I don't have any pets. I don't have a wife. So when my buyers call and it's time for us to look at something, I have very few things that are going to hold me back. I work seven days a week and uh, have no problem doing what it takes to help quickly get into these homes. I have heard from buyers in the past that sometimes their agents want to take two, three, four days. And by the time they get into the home, it's gone. Because as my dad told me in a little, little league, you can't steal in slow motion. If it's a buyer's market, you got to be able to move. you got to be able to move quickly and decisively. And, of course, that's what we believe in. Okay, that was three levels, just over 2,600 square feet. And, ooh, i got to hit the gym. Whew, I really got to do better. I just ate, too, so that probably doesn't help much at all. If you have any questions about this or any other home on the market, my name is Max Williams. We also have the Rent to Own program that is also in this Hanover area, in addition to Henrico and Chesterfield. Rent starting at $12.50 a month and up. Be sure to give me a call, 402-7788. I can reach on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.